Al Anderson from Big Al's Deli joins us now with a summer salad recipe his customers can't get enough of. Oh, I like that. I love a good spaghetti salad. Uh, it's, Looking it's, forward it, to this one. It's, it's wonderful. It's uh -huh. very easy to make. And I had some customers try it early in the week, and they said we, we need a relief from potato salad, coleslaw, macaroni salad, or, or just your pasta salad. And I uh -huh. said, well, good. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, my so, wife has a spaghetti salad recipe that's one of our go-tos when we're going somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's an oldie but goodie. I just added... I just made it more simple and just add a little kick to it. Okay. So basically, if you have a garden, the majority of these vegetables are in your garden. So you either cook off your spaghetti mm -hmm. and cool it off or cook off your rice, cool that off. And so basically, so that everyone knows, we've got the same recipe, but the only difference is you can do this. I've never done it with a rice before. Yeah, yeah I like it with rice just as much as I do with spaghetti. So I said, let me, let me do both for the viewers. Okay. All right, so get us uh, started All with right. what you're putting in. Okay, well, the first thing is uh, we're going to do the dressing. Okay. So you just get your basic Italian dressing, and we're going to add a little garlic, salt and pepper to taste. Okay. Everybody taste buds are different. Yeah, I know, uh-huh. And uh, then I wanted to add some mint and a little sriracha. Which is a huge trend right now. Yeah, yeah everybody that. likes sriracha. Uh, and and there's, cu there's cumin. Yeah, okay. So you're just going to mix that up. And now, basically now it's just a, a dump. Okay, all right. You're going to add your, this is flat leaf parsley. Mm -hmm. like that just as much as I like cilantro. Okay. And cilantro. All righty. And again, it's a dump, and we've got these veggies, but you can kind of vary this up depending yeah. upon what's in your garden. Red onion. Red bell pepper, mm -hmm. orange bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, summer squash, zucchini. So add all that in there. And then I'm going to add some grape tomatoes. All right. That gives it a, 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 a little bite. And then I have two, uh, two ounces of orange juice. Just use a, a sweat, fresh squeezed orange. Oh, I've That's never the seen acidity. that part of it. Okay. That's the acidity that you're going to need to blend all the flavors together. All right. Now we're going to... Put the dressing in, and you can, your choice, All right. spaghetti or, or rice. I'm going spaghetti. All right. Just, just dump. dump it in. All right. And we're just going to mix it all up. And then on this one, I've found, and man, tell me if you, you do it differently, that it's best to put this together and then kind of let it sit and kind of get these oh, flavors no, that's, together. That's perfect. Let it sit at least two hours. You can let it sit overnight. And that's why I add that orange juice to it, because that acidity is going to have all these flavors blend together, get real happy. Okay. And that's it. That's it. That's what it looks like when everything is said and done. So, again, same recipe for both. Either take your pick, rice or pasta. As always, great to have you with us. If you'd like to make this recipe, it's on our website at newschannel5.com, or you can stop by Big Al's Deli over in Salem Town. Again, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Now,